Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Deemer and welcome to This Week in College Football History. It doesn't seem like 21 years ago, but this week we go back to a classic game played October 20th, 1990. The second ranked University of Miami, led by future Hall of Famer Russell Maryland, playing at number six, Notre Dame. In 1988, the Irish beat Miami on the way to a national championship. In 1989, the Hurricanes won on their way to the title. So you can see why this matchup meant so much to each program. It's a picture-perfect day in South Bend, Indiana, before a sellout crowd that can't wait to see what happens. On the first offensive play, the Irish fumble, and Eric Miller of Miami recovers at the 25. Moments later from the one, Stephen McGuire goes up and over, and it's seven nothing Hurricanes. After a Notre Dame field goal, the Canes are looking for more. Lamar Thomas to catch the three yard line. Miami now settles for the field goal, but still leads 10-3. Then on the ensuing kickoff, Rahib Rocket Ishmael takes it at the six yard line. A hole opens up in the middle, and then he cuts to the far sideline, and they aren't going to catch him. 94 yards for the touchdown, and the game is all tied at 10 after one quarter. First play of the second quarter, and Greg Davis steps in front of this Craig Erickson pass, and Notre Dame stops the drive at the 32. But the Irish would have to settle for a Craig Hendrick field goal from 45 yards out. It's 13 to 10 Irish. Now it's Miami's turn to come back. Erickson to his tight end, Randy Bethel, a 27-yard gain to the 15. And from the one-yard line, Erickson sneaks it in. Notre Dame would add a field goal, but Miami still leads at halftime, 17 to 16. Third quarter and Notre Dame's defense shuts down the Hurricane offense, while Hendrick kicks two more field goals and the Irish take a 22-17 lead after three quarters. On to the fourth quarter and Miami is driving. The swing pass to Leonard Conley. He scampers down to the eight yard line, but the Canes would have to settle for a field goal and still trail 22-20. Miami gets the ball back and is looking to take the lead. But Erickson has this pass picked off by Todd Light at the 10 yard line and the Irish come up with a huge play. Six and a half minutes to go and quarterback Rick Meyer catches Miami at an all out blitz. He flips it to Randy Culver who does the rest. He just gets to the end zone and Notre Dame ups its lead to 29 to 20. Miami never quit. Here comes Conley looking to score but the ball is knocked loose. Michael Stonebreaker recovers at the two yard line and that was it. Notre Dame, led by Rocket Ishmael's 268 yards of total offense, upsets number two Miami in a classic game, the final 29 to 20. Notre Dame went on to win nine games in the regular season versus two losses, losing to Colorado in the Orange Bowl. The Buffaloes went on to win the national title. Russell Maryland posted a career high 20 tackles against the Irish on his way to claiming the Outland Trophy later that year. Miami, it finished 9-2 and two and beat Texas in the Cotton Bowl. Two great programs meeting on this day, October 20th, 1990. I'm Glenn Deemer and thanks for watching This Week in College Football History, brought to you by the National Football Foundation.